Hey, I used three bundles of Genesis Virgin hair and a 4x4 lace closure to make my wig. I hung the three bundles up to dry and I laid the lace closure onto my head to measure it. I've shampooed and conditioned the hair so it's damp and I'm laying it on my scalp and I'm letting it meet the part in my natural hair. After securing the closure to the foam head, I used this Brenner Brothers foam wrapping lotion to mold the hair. I let that set overnight. I grabbed some pantyhose, nylon, stockings, whatever you call them, and I cut out a piece that you wear around your waist or your hips. This color is really close to my scalp color, so that's why it works. So if you choose to do this, be sure to get a color that matches your scalp. I sewed the fabric around the edge of the closure, and I sewed through the bottom of the closure and out through the top. That way the knot is underneath the stocking and no one's able to see it. I used two needles and sewed along the outer edges of the closure. Once the threads met up, I tied those threads into a knot. Later on, I sewed the stockings to the top of the closure too, and I'll show you that in a little bit. I cut the extra lace off at the front of the closure. And I just suggest you be really careful with this. You don't want to cut any hair off by mistake. I used this deluxe weaving cap and it supposedly had shea butter, vitamin E, and olive oil in it, but I really couldn't tell. I got it from my local beauty supply store and I've seen people say that they've gotten it from Sally's, but every time I go, I can't find it. I like it because it has the adjustable straps in the back and it also has a lot of guidelines for you to follow. I had already measured the cap and the closure on my head, so I'm using this eyeshadow pencil to outline where the closure is going to go on the cap. I sewed the wig up to this point and these are some videos that show how I made my wigs in the past. Next time I make a wig I will record all of it but please refer to these videos for now. I secured the closure to the wig cap and the foam head. Then I sewed the closure down to the wig cap just like I did before. I sewed around the edges first and then I met in the middle. I used the rest of the hair to fill in all of this space right here. I used all three bundles and the closure. Then I cut off all the extra cap that was underneath the closure. Here are some pictures and video clips of the final results. I wore the hair with the side part for a while and then I moved the part over to the middle. And this is what I meant when I said I sewed the stockings to the top of the closure too. I sewed about a fourth of an inch to half an inch from the edge of the closure so that the stocking doesn't show. I probably won't do a final review of this hair, but just know that I absolutely love it. I still go back and forth with it and I've worn it another time. So I've installed this hair three times already. And here are other videos featuring this hair. Thank y'all so much for watching and I hope it helps some of you out. Bye.